Hello, my friends, and welcome to the February reveal for the subscription, the monthly subscription. So this one is called the World Traveler's Kit. I've got all three versions right here, and so I will start probably with, let's give the standard vertical first. Let's do that one first. So I'll move these ones off to the side and go through each one of the kits, and hopefully they're packed properly because my son packed them for me, so we'll see. We'll see where we're at. So as always, with every subscription, you get a roll of washi, and this month, the standard vertical is gonna have this washi right here, which I'm gonna leave this one packaged, and I'll open up mine. So I've got mine sitting here. Oh, I should, probably should have brought a piece of paper. Hang on, I got this, I got this. Let's see, let's use, let's use this. Okay, so this kit is, the theme of this one is World Traveler, and it's basically like Leafy just going and visiting all the cool places <laughs> that I either have been or I want to go to just because, um, I don't know, I just thought it would be a fun little theme. So this is a great anytime kit, and because we're in kind of that in-between, um, because this would be te technically for March, because what came out in January is for February. So this is for March, and March is kind of like that in-between time. A little too early for spring, I feel like. Um, and, you know, we don't need any more Valentine's Day stuff. So I kind of went with something that I thought you could kind of put in your stash and use whenever, if you were going on a trip, or if you're just feeling like you want to do something kind of fun and different and non-theme, like non-holiday or seasonally themed. This is the perfect kit for that. So here is the full page. So this is the full page sticker. So you can use this. This is a five by seven sticker. You can use this on like an entire inside page in your journal. You could use it as a dashboard. You could laminate it and use it, like I said, as like a pencil board. You could do whatever you want with it. But this is obviously London. You've got the London Eye, Big Ben, the bus, and then <laughs> the little my little leafies wearing the little hats for the guards. <laughs> I just thought they were so cute and they look so funny with these big old hats on. But this is your full page sticker. And here's your washi. Let me put that off to the side so I don't mess them up. Keep them, keep them together. Then your vinyl sticker. These are not waterproof. They're water resistant. So I do have um, waterproof stickers in the Etsy shop. Not this particular one, but I do have other ones. So there is a difference between the water resistant and the waterproof. Waterproof is a little bit more expensive. The water resistant is just one that I wouldn't... You can get it wet, but I wouldn't necessarily like wash wash it or put it underwater for a long period of time but collect moments not things and you've got my little little I can't even really see that my little leafy Nessie <laughs> it's so cute and then the little Scottish leafy I don't know I just thought that was stinking adorable that's one of the trips that I want to take like soon like either tw end of 2024 or beginning of 2025 is the England Scotland Ireland trip and I'm trying to work that into my schedule so hopefully I can get that one done but what you also get in all of the kits so this is the all of the kits that you get this in so you get this is goes in all of the kits these go in all of the kits so you've got the March wacky holidays I'll bring it up so you can see it my favorite one is Mario Day obviously also love International Goof Off Day and I've got the crazy glasses on her with her sticking out her tongue there's Eat a Waffle Day Puppy Day there's Napping Day that one's that one's a good one for Brandy. There's World Compliment Day, and I've got the You Are Beautiful with the Little Heart Eyes, Dentist Day, and then look at that submarine. <laughs> submarine Day. I just thought this is so cute. So this one is the March Wacky Holidays. Then you have every kit comes with these three sheets, and these are what's exclusive to just the subscription. So um, you'll always be able to find the kit itself um, in the shop like in the Etsy shop that's not subscription related, but these things that I'm showing you, this little beginning section, this is all subscriber only. So this is the only place that you can get these all together. So here is the extras. So you've got a little Nessie on here. You've got a bunch of little notepads, little sticky notes, some little reminders, some like calendar reminders, that kind of stuff. Then you've got the, sorry, so close, <laughs> you've got the deco. So these are all different decos from all the different areas and some luggage on here. This is from the Paris. You'll see where these all come from in a minute. And then your dividers. So we've got a couple of different dividers here and I'll bring it up close so you can see which ones. So if you have a kit like this, you're gonna get them in the 1.5. If you have the Hobonichi subscription, you're gonna get them in the 1.3. So they'll be for either one. Now on to the kit itself. Oh wait, there's one more thing that comes in every kit and I'll show you. So every kit subscription only stuff is going to get one of each of these. So these are corner 
like corner tabs and they work perfectly for holding your pages open. There is a frosted clear and a frosted gray. So you'll get one of each in your subscription and I'll show you what it looks like on a book. So you see here, they hold open, they hold your pages together so that you can write. And especially when you start getting back here and things are pretty thick, it's a good, good little thing to hold your pages together, but that's what that's for. So you get one of those will also come in every kit. So there, I'm done with that every kit stuff. And now what comes in this kit is your full boxes. So here we have Spain, just in case, because <laughs> I guess my doodles aren't always clear <laughs> because my husband's like, where is that? <laughs> so I'm just going to tell you where they all are. So that way you can see where I'm coming from. But you know, you can make these any place that you want to make them. But this is Spain. This is Japan. And I've got the Sakura tree with the little lanterns hanging. And then here is obviously Paris with the Eiffel Tower in the back. And then you've got like a little Parisian cafe. And then you've got Egypt, which think is pretty obvious than Rome and when I went to Rome this is my favorite thing pizza oh my gosh if you want good pizza the only place to go for good pizza is Rome and the funny thing is that's not even where pizza came from but man have they perfected it then you've got London and then we've got Scotland I did a nice big double box with Scotland so we've got my little Nessie and Nessie is all leafied out and then you've got the little bagpipe one the little Scottish guy and then the little these guys in the background the big Scottish castle and then on your page two, you have the other part of the Scottish box. So the other half, because I made them both double boxes. Then here is your washi, your bottom washi, and your little smaller date covers. Sorry, I'll back you off now that I'm done showing you all the close-ups. And then more little washi and some boxes and some date dots. And then your functional page. So this is the standard eight-page deluxe kit. Dividers, half boxes, quarter boxes more functionals with all of your uh, Monday through Sundays, your one through sevens, that kind of stuff, some paint swatches, like doodle boxes, and then some more. Here are your check boxes and some more bigger ones. These are great for quotes. If you have any travel quotes, that's a good place for those. Then your last page of this is all of your like appointments, planning time, some deco at the bottom, your labels and some quarter boxes. And then you have two sheets of the hand-drawn washi. So this is sheet number one and sheet number two. These come in all the kits as well, but, and then in this one, you get the standard vertical monthly. So you get your months, so you pick whichever month you want. Uh, nope, I wasn't upside down, I will now. Then this one has your date dots and I colored them now. So I started getting a little creative with the date dots, you'll see. And then you've got your days of the week here. So you can pick a Sunday start, a Monday start, whatever makes you happy, a bunch of bill dues, and then some like a whole bunch of different scripts that you can do, like your sub renewal, your sub ship, sale day, this month, day off, birthdays, lots of that kind of stuff. This is your sidebar and some extra boxes that fit inside of, this is the seven by nine size. So you can alter it a little bit if you have something similar to it, but this is basically based off of like an Erin Condren size planner, seven by nine. You've got some birthday, vacation, important anniversary, some bill due flags, and then here are your two top banners. So for the top banners on your monthly, I picked the Scottish. That's why I said I did, two, I did a couple of big boxes, like double box scenes. The Japan one is a double box scene and the Scotland one is a double box scene. So that's your two top banners. And then you've got more bill dues, some washi strips, that kind of stuff in here. Paydays, more boxes. So you have plenty of stuff to use in a monthly spread. Okay, so that is everything that comes in the standard vertical subscription. And now I will set this one off to the side so I can put it all back together and we'll move on to the Hobonichi. So in the Hobonichi this month, we have this washi in the Hobonichi. So this is the stamp washi or stamp style washi, which I have right here. So let's get this one and show ya. I just got my nails done and I'm trying to get used to them. So if I'm a complete disaster with the washi tape for a while, it's because I am not used to having thick nails. I've never, I haven't, it's probably been, I don't know, eight years or so since I did my nails, had my nails done. I just don't have time to sit and it took literally two hours to do these. So how cute is that? So here is the washi that comes with the Hobonichi Cousin set that over there and like I said don't forget this comes in this kit as well so you get these and then here's what the Hobonichi looks like I made a few changes to the Kobo Cousin but I can't remember if I did it with this one because these are all, all done months in advance or if it's after this one it might not be this one but here's your full page sticker 
just like the other one. And then again, I won't go through all of these again, but again, you get this, you get your wacky holidays and you get your three, but now you can see this is the 1.3. So you get this one in 1.3 because this is the hobo cousin. And again, it's all the same there. And then we'll get into the kits themselves. So, so, um, here, let's do this too, because you don't need to see this again, but you got your washi. And then we have, I'm going to do the monthly, let's do the monthly first because it's smaller. So the monthly kit is a two, mm -hmm. yep, sure is, two page kit <laughs> if I can get them together. I'm going to get the nails down. It's just going to take me a little bit of time to get used to them. So this is your page one, which you've got a full box here that you can use in your sidebar if you wanted to or wherever you like to put it. And then you've got some little sidebar extra things like appointments, bills, uh, importance and errands. And then you've got a whole bunch of little labels, these little Polaroids. You've got your date dots to do a whole month along with some check dots here. And then on your page two, you've got all of your days of the week and of this month. You've got a smaller half box with the full scene in it and some other boxes here and then you've got your washi that you can use at the bottom and then you've got some little icons here so you can use those throughout the month for whatever you need to do so that is the monthly and then the weekly I'm gonna say no this one I did not make the changes in this month but next month you'll see some changes to this kit so here are all your full boxes which are basically what you've already seen in a bigger in the standard vertical so I won't go over each box but these right here are dividers and then you've got your date covers here a couple little highlight things and then on your page two you've got some more boxes up here you've got some dividers with the luggage which I thought was super super cute wait a minute I did do it did I Hold on. I did do it. Yeah, this is the new. Okay, this is new. This is new. Let me let me point out the differences. I'm sorry. I couldn't remember which one I, sw I switched it up on, but it's this one here. So I made it. Let me just make sure. Yep, I made it so that you can spread this out. So um, because I give you, I keep hearing, oh my gosh, there's so many boxes. And it made me feel like, you know what? I bet you other people use this the way that I use it, which is spreading it out over more than one week. I don't know too many people that know white space plan in a Hobonichi Cousin um, or Hobonichi Co or A5 planner. So I wanted to make this so that you could spread it out between two weeks. If you, you know, you may not have every single thing doubled on here, like you've only got one weekend banner, so you can use it on one week and maybe not another. But I gave you a lot of extra boxes and I gave you two sets of date covers. So I wanted to make sure I pointed that out. And I took away the uh, vertical check lists the vertical checklists are gone now so that was one of the things that one of the changes that I had to make in order to add more of the boxes so you can see here that you've got a couple more boxes here that you can use so this can be spread out like I said throughout a couple of weeks you've got all these and, and somebody said that these look like scales you can use it as a scale if that makes you happy use it as a scale then you've got some boxes here you've got washi I give you two sets of, of bottom washi so you can do like I said two sets of weeks then you've got another full box here some of your labels a whole another set of date covers so if you want to do two weeks you can do the two weeks you've got some check stuff down here some Monday through Sundays a whole another set of washi a whole bunch of icons some more half boxes some paint swatches which I might change this out because that's not doesn't make me super happy and this is your back to page one so you can see I'll run through it one more time I just wanted to point out all of the changes from last month to this month so again it's a whole another set of date boxes that's your page one this is your page two your page three and your page four. So hopefully those changes, let me know down in the comments if you like those changes, but I think between all of this, any of the extras that you have left over in the monthly, plus all of the washi that you get and the washi sheets, plus <laughs> all of this right here will get you through being able to plan a few, at least two, if not more, depending on how frugal you are with your stickers, at least two weeks in your Hobonichi Cousin. So, and your washi, don't forget your washi. So, oops, that's not that washi. This is this washi. So each one has a different washi. So if you get multiple kits, you're gonna get a different washi which, with each kit, because I know like a lot of you um, have two subscriptions. So you have the Hobonichi, a lot of people have the Hobonichi Cousin and the journaling subscription. So the two washis will always be different. So you don't get doubles. However, next month I am starting a new subscription which includes all three washies. So next month is going to be super, super fun. I'm very excited about next month. 
Okay, here's the journaling kit, and this is the washi that goes with this one. So this month, the journaling kit gets the plaid, and uh, so, so in love with plaid washi. I just can't, I just can't even. You are always going to see plaid washies from me. It's going to be a different style of plaid each time, but you're always going to see plaid because I love it. Love, love, love. And there's so many variations of plaid that you can do. And the next... From now on, all the washies are foiled. So this is your plaid. So this one's not. This is the first, this is the last month that doesn't have foiled washi, but when the subscription washi starts and going forward, those will all have foil on them. So there's that. Then comes in this case, which you already know always comes in a case. So you can keep it all together and carry it with you wherever you want to go. This month we have this fantastic Tombow in an orange. You um, would have to look it up, but this is 933 if you want to look up the actual name of it, if you're swatching and you want the names of them. Um, I should, should be better about writing them down, but I keep forgetting to do it. But here, how gorgeous. So this was a challenge, an absolute challenge for me. Hopefully you can see this, but look at how close I got to that orange. <laughs> I can't, you have to, like, if you look at all the swatches for the Tombos, it is, it is not easy to color match like this, but I think I did a pretty darn good job color matching. So anyways, you have your big brush side and then you have your pen tip side. So there you go. That's what that looks like. So you got your pen, your journal this month has the London on the front. It's got a plaid on the back. And then we have the dot grid on the inside. So it's all dot grid. Nice and plain, easy. Do whatever you want with it. You can use this as a notebook, a list maker, a journal, whatever you want to do. Give it to your kids. Take it to school for their notebooks. Nice dot grid. Easy, easy. There's that. And then the journaling kit. Again, will also come with the clips. And all the goodies that are inside of this. So one of the goodies that's inside of here, I want to put on the back of something else so you can really see it, but you got your five by seven. I'm gonna flip it over so you can see the vellum. Here's the vellum. And I did move away from the sticker vellum and I went straight back to the vellum for the tip-ins. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun with tip-ins. You have no idea. Oh, I'm being so bad with all the tip-ins, but I actually bought tip-in tape and I've been using it and it is so fun and it is so easy. It makes adding these to your journals super easy, like super, super easy. But there is your, um, this is your vellum. Then uh, again, with all the same, so again, you get this and the Wacky Holidays and your three extras sheet. And this one does come with the 1.5 because journals are, you know, generally you just use whatever size you want. But if you are making a weekly spread in the journal, most people do 1.5 size boxes anyway. So you get the first four pages of the deluxe kit with your artwork. Sorry, <laughs> I got this. I got this. And then you've already seen this, so I'm just going to flip through so you know what page one through four is. So you can also save this and use it inside of your regular planner as like a mini kit. So there's the first four pages, and then we're into page five for your journal. So I did a find your adventure, and it's got the Japanese bridge with my little characters. And then you've got a bunch of flowers in here and these are all kiss cut. You've got the corners. So these are corner pieces that you can put up in the corners and these have the cherry blossom trees and then your big journal. So this page, I tried to bring in a lot of the Jap, the, a lot of the Japan artwork that I did. Then your page six has all the torn edges with all of the papers from the kit and some colors and some paint swatches. And then this one is all of your trackers that you can use and a whole bunch of deco. So you can see all the deco here that you get and then travel the world. And I've got my two little <laughs> London leafies on there. Just so fun. These are big stickers. And then this one has your, these you can, these I use them all the time in my journal and um, I use them to mark off the pages. So you just fold them in half and then my little label maker is like the perfect size to put what I'm putting in there. So I'll do like notes, the week that I'm on, the dailies and the monthly. So that's why I gave you four of them just because that's what I do. You do whatever you want or you don't have to use them at all if you don't want to, but here's some tickets and some doodles. And then your page nine is the self-care page. 
This is a big sticker, it says Adventure Awaits, and it's got the London, the whole scene of London on there. You've got these cute, cute little, I turned the sheep from the Scottish one into little leafy sheep because I just had to. And then you've got the little pizza cart and the pizza guy and the little Scottish guy. So this one's kind of a mix. I gave you a little leafy Nessie and then the little wine. This is from the um, Spain be kind to your mind and then these are like little dividers that you can put across the bottom and these are like little wine the uh, grape vines for the wine and the wine barrel and then you've got all of your morning routine your afternoon routine evening the exercise that kind of stuff this page is your journaling prompts full page you can just pull it off put it on a page and you've got your journaling prompts for the entire month march goals self-care for the month 10 places i would love to visit top three menu ideas for this month currently reading new projects i want to begin and dream vacation plans and then your washi so that is a whole lot of stuff <laughs> so you have a lot here to play with for whatever month you decide to use it for i know that the journaling prompts have a march in there but i'm trying to kind of keep it month specific on the journaling stuff just because we're kind of doing it um, that way so but you can totally use this any month that you wanted to if you didn't want to use it in March and you want to just you have like another month that you have trips planned or whatever you can save it for that month because like I said this is the perfect perfect month to be able to do whatever artwork whatever I felt like doing and so I did it so that is everything that comes in the journaling kit. So you have your journaling subscription, you've got your standard vertical subscription, and you've got your Hobonichi subscription. So we have three different ones to choose from. And like I said, next month, we'll start another subscription, which will have all three washi tapes in it. So if you don't want any of these and you just want the washi, also with that subscription, there will be um, two deco sheets the washi sheets, the washi pages, and um, there'll be three waterproof vinyls. So that subscription is not just washi tape. It has the washi tape, the deco, and the waterproof vinyls. And the um, so if you want to kind of, you like, but you don't use any of these, like you use um, anything smaller, like one of these. So this is a personal size planner right here. If you use something small like this, that will be perfect for it because you can, look at, look at me, I'm all stickered out in here. And this is what I mean by tip-ins. Look at this. This is a tip-in. <laughs> and it's so cute. So cute. So this is my little personal one that I use. I absolutely love this. And it is so fun and it is so tiny. But this is like the perfect type of size planner. Like if you use this one or you use an A6 or something like that, that new subscription starting next month is perfect for this because you've got three different washies you can use throughout you've got deco that you can use throughout and you've got the, uh, the also the washi sheets with a, a whole bunch of other washies so that you can do the decorating on the bottom like i do here with all of, this is actually the washi from next month two of the washies from next month so actually all three this one too just to give you an idea of what i mean by the foiling you can see the foiling on all of these hopefully you can see the foiling on all of these but this is next month's washi and this is the one that will start the um, subscription so anyway that is it that's all I have for you guys I hope you guys have a fantastic day thank you so so much I'm sorry this is going up late between the PBC sale and me trying to get all of the um, world traveler stuff out for the first I'm a little bit late getting this video up but I hope you guys have a fantastic day thank you so much for hanging out with me comments down below I would love to hear what you think especially about the new washi subscription and I will see you again on the next one bye